All right, so now that we have our input fetching music for us, and we can see that it comes up with the artist here, we want to have an, an artist module where we click this, and it takes us to a page that has all the albums and stuff like that. So first thing we're going to do is go to our search component, and we're going to bring in uh, the router directives, because what we want to do, we want to use our router, because we want this to go to our, our module, and also we need to have it also include the ID of this particular artist. All right, so let's say import, and we need to import the router directives. And that's going to be from Angular router. And then we need to include that here in directives. All right. Then what we'll do is save that and go into the HTML and see where we have this empty link here. We're actually going to get rid of the href attribute altogether and we're going to put the router link attribute. And let's set that to slash artist slash and then we want the ID so we can just say res.id. Save that. Okay, so if we were to look at down in this area, when I hover over this, you can see it goes to slash artist, slash, and then uh, a long string, which is the ID that's coming back from the API. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to create that route. So let's go to approutes.ts, and we'll go right here, put a comma, and let's add a new path. So this path is going to be artist slash colon ID, which is just kind of a placeholder for the ID. All right, and then we're going to say component, and that's going to be the artist component, which we haven't created yet. All right, so let's go ahead and import that. Even though we haven't created it yet, I just want to get it imported. All right. And that should do it. Let's save it. And then let's create in the components folder. We'll create another folder called artist. And we'll create artist.component.ts. And then we also want artist.component.html. Okay. And then in the component, we're just going to grab what we have in the navbar ts file, paste that in. And let's change this to artist, change this, and this. Now we're going to do quite a bit here. Okay, first thing we want to do is import the Spotify service. So let's say import Spotify service. And let's see, where are we? We're going to have to go dot dot slash dot dot slash services Spotify dot service. OK, we're going to add that as let's see. We need to add that as a provider. Oh, actually, no, we don't. We don't need to do that. We do that in the root app component. What we do have to do is inject it as a dependency. So we're going to create a constructor, which I spelled wrong. OK, constructor. And then let's say private. And we'll call this underscore Spotify service, Spotify service. Now we're going to have some properties here. We're going to have an ID, which will be a string. We're going to have the artist. And we're going to set this to the artist object, which I'll bring in in a minute. And then we'll also have albums, which is going to 
be of the album type. Okay, so let's bring those in. Should should bring that in, and then we also have album. Actually, this should be three. There we go. Okay. So next thing we want to do is. We need a way to get the ID, okay? So when we click on one of these, well, it's not going to work right now because this is not done. But when we click it and it goes to artist slash and then the ID, we need to grab that. So there's a few things we need to do to get it. So what we're going to do is bring in the activated route. And we can get that from the router. All right, and we're also going to bring in, uh, we're going to use a lifecycle method called on init. Okay, we could do all this in the constructor, but it's it's cleaner to actually use one of these methods here. So that we're going to say the component implements. It's going to implement on init, and then down here after the constructor. We're going to create a function called ng on init. You can see that got rid of that error that was up here because this is required now. And we have to inject this activated route as a dependency in the constructor. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say private underscore route. Set that to activated route. And then in ng on init, we're going to say this dot underscore route dot params. And we're going to use map. So let's go on the next line and say dot map. And in here we'll say params. Params. And then the one we want is ID. So we're going to pass in ID. And then let's say dot subscribe and then we'll open up another set of parentheses and we're going to put in ID and set that to a code block and in here we're going to use the service this dot underscore Spotify service and we're going to have a method called get artist and we're going to pass in that ID all right and then we're going to subscribe to this so dot subscribe and then we want the artist. And then in here we can set this dot artist equal to artist, just like that. So let's go to the service now. And we need our get artist. And I'm actually going to copy this because it's very similar. Okay, so this will be get artist and we're going to have another uh, property up here it's going to be the artist URL so we'll say private artist URL that's going to be a string and let's change this all right and then the URL will be spotify.com v1 slash let's get rid of this v1 slash artists slash and then we want the ID so we're going to just concatenate ID all right and let's get rid of this it's going to take an ID and that's going to be a string all right and then let's see down here we're going to say return this HTTP get and then pass in this dot artist URL. 
and then we're going to map it back. So we'll save it, and then if we go into our um, artist component, you can see that that error is gone. All right, so it should now bring it in. Let's make sure this is saved. And then let's go into our artist component HTML, and we're going to put a div. And let's say ng if. Okay, because we want to test to see if the artist is there. And let's put in artist.name. All right, so hopefully all that works. So let's say Aerosmith, if we click on that, brings us here. Now let's open up the console and see what it says. No provider for Spotify service. So we just need to go to our app component TS file. And we want to bring in our service. So import Spotify service. And let's see, that's going to be in dot slash services slash uh, Spotify dot service. Right. And then down here, we'll add it as a provider. Save that. OK, let's go back and reload localhost 3000. And then we'll go ahead and search again and click that. And there we go. So it takes us to artist slash and then the ID. And we can now get that artist information. All right, so now that that's done, in the next video, we're going to make up this page. We're going to get the artist info, the albums, the album covers, and we'll get that all set up.